Okay, so I'm going to take a single line model and put it on here to represent like five lights. So I'm going to make it five lights. I'm going to go down to the appearance, make them about a hundred in size, or let's make them let's make them slightly smaller. Let's make them eighty. I'll make it a blended circle. And then let's reduce transparency to 50%. Okay, I'll save that. So now I got my model. I'm going to create an animation sequence. And I've got my model preview window down here that we can see. I double click so we can see the five nodes. So grab an on effect, put it on the first node. Let's make it like say five seconds long. You can already see I was experimenting, but let's let's clear that out. And let's just put it where you would normally see, which is probably like a ramp. So I clicked on the value curve for brightness. So come into that. Just start out with the uh, sawtooth. Um, since brightness goes up to 400, anything over 100 is not going to do anything. So let's make this 25, which will be the max value. You can bring up your minimum value a little bit. So maybe you don't want it to go completely dark. Increase the number of cycles that you're going to have in that five seconds. So now we kind of got a base curve, but you know, there's it's periodic and the randomness. Let's go down to custom and now we can start dragging dragging these guys around and try to do something with them. You can click add new pieces in here. So this is where you have to get a little creative, do whatever you think looks like a random curve because you're just going to make it look random for five seconds. So let's see what that's doing. See how that's already kind of showing some nice smooth ramp up and down and flashings. And you can see it right there in the effect. If I expand it, you can kind of see what the light curve is doing. So let's say you have one of those. Now you've created one that works for five seconds. So just chain a few of those together. I mean, sure it's going to be a repeating pattern, but there's nobody out there that's going to be able to tell that, hey, that pattern repeats every five seconds. Or come into here, if you're really that anal about it, come in here and change, change your pattern. Make it do something else for every single one of them. So then once you have that pattern, select copy the whole thing and the way you're going to make your other nodes look different is you're going to start at a different offset time so every one of those is offset with respect to the other one and then you could you could put extra ones on here in the front if you need to if you need to fill in some space so I've got that and say I'll play through here you can look and see what those five things would be doing So you can customize those brightness curves and make this do pretty much whatever you want. So I think that you could accomplish what you need just using a simple on effect. Anyways, thanks for listening.